हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर अ लेक्चर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट टूडेज टॉपिक इज इकोलॉजिकल पिरामिड दीज आर नॉट दो पिरामिड विच आर प्रेजेंट इन इजिप्ट बट सर्टनली देयर इज सम काइंड ऑफ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन इकोलॉजिकल पिरामिड एंड पिरामिड विच आर प्रेजेंट इन इजिप्ट नोन एज इजिप्शियन pyramids what kind of relationship is between ecological pyramids and egyptian pyramids let's find in the class firstly understand what is ecological pyramids these are the graphical representations of various ecological parameters at successive tropic levels of the food chain keeping producers at the base and at the top there will be top carnivores because we have number of carnivores like first order second order and third order so we will at the top there will be only top carnivores clear once more i am repeating pyramids ecological pyramids they are the graphical representation of various ecological parameters at the successive tropic levels of the food chain the first question okay coming back to that students the shape of ecological pyramids and egyptian pyramids is the same that is why we are saying it pyramid we have given a name pyramid okay because when we make a bar or a or a graph is made it actually displays a pyramid that is why it is known as a pyramid second question what are the ecological parameters which are considered okay when we form a pyramid one is a number okay how many producers are present how many primary consumers are there are secondary consumers also we consider the carnivores this is the first parameter second will be energy okay energy is also important what energy is present at the producer level and what energy will be present at consumer level and finally how much energy will be present at the carnivorous level and third will be the biomass what is biomass it is a total quantity of mass or weight of an organism at a given area or volume clear so on these uh, three parameters there are three different types of pyramids one is pyramids of numbers second pyramids of biomass and third pyramids of energy okay i will discuss each of them one by one okay before starting uh, this chapter in detail i will suggest you people to open your book that is of ncert at page number 248 and figure 14.4a and it is described as pyramid of numbers in grassland ecosystem kindly have a gaze students it will be upright pyramids of number in a grassland ecosystem it will be always upright and how it will be upright let's understand in a grassland the number of producers what are the producers they are plants they will be large okay if we consider a food chain okay at each tropic level there will be different individuals but the what will be the tropic level where there will be the maximum individuals it will be the producers okay clear so primary consumers that can be a goat or anything which feeds on primary producers or you can say on grasses the number will be lesser than primary producers then secondary consumers also the number will be less and finally tertiary consumers tertiary consumers means like lion tiger which will be present at the top level of 
food chain so their number number will be very less so when we arrange the data in the form of uh, a bar or a graph we will get a upright pyramid so remember the pyramid of number in a grassland ecosystem is always upright and same thing is happening for pond ecosystem but have some opposite view pyramid of number in tree ecosystem it will have two kinds of shape okay one will be inverted and another will be spindle shaped spindle shape will be that shape which will be thicker in the middle and uh, at both ends it will taper like a radish okay firstly uh, inverted for example we have one tree how many birds will feed on them the number of birds will be larger certainly than a tree we have single tree and birds will be larger and parasites which will feed on birds they will be larger than the number of birds so if we will create a uh, graph of this data we will get inverted pyramid this is a pyramid of number in tree ecosystem and when i say spindle shaped ecosystem uh, pyramid and what kind of pyramid is it we have single tree herbivorous birds they will feed on the tree and at the top level rather than considering the parasites we will consider hawk or vulture so at the base there will be one tree at apex still the number of hawks or vulture it is minimum but the birds they will be larger so it will be spindle shaped at top and bottom number will be low but in middle the number will be large now let's discuss about pyramid of biomass pyramid of biomass specifically in terrestrial ecosystem is usually upright okay biomass you know it is the amount of living matter present in uh, living organisms again you will take the example of grass so we have a number of producers and their biomass it will be the largest than than primary consumers than the mass of primary consumers and the biomass of primary uh, consumers it it will be larger than secondary consumers and finally tertiary consumers biomass will be low okay so the para, pyramid again it will be upright but pyramid of biomass in aquatic ecosystem will be usually inverted why it will be inverted let's take a example the biomass of zoo planktons it will be higher than phyto planktons okay and biomass of small fish it will be higher so if you will create a pyramid of this uh, data you will get an inverted kind of pyramid clear lastly we have pyramid of energy understand that it is the only pyramid which is upright if we consider it in uh, aquatic ecosystem or in terrestrial ecosystem it will be always upright because the flow of energy it is unidirectional and again we will apply the 10% law because at each tropic level there will be 90% loss of energy only 10% will be transferred to another tropic level so if we will create a pyramid of this data it will be upright so pyramid of energy it is always upright with this i have completed this topic in case you have doubt you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com